Today we're going to take a deep dive look at the Jordan effect and how the Nike Air Jordan 1 Chicago and not even the Chicago, just the Nike Jordan 1 period changed the sneaker culture as we know it today. You see, it went like this. Mike did, we followed, cultures shifted. He played golf. Golf became cool. He smoked cigars, the cigar market blew up. He shaved his head, brother's domes got clean. How you like those now? He wore gold and diamond hoop earrings in his left ear. Guess what? The shrug, the term goat. He's the living embodiment of it. That said, it's his role of invading pop and global culture by way of the sneaker game is what takes the Jordan effect to God status level. From the band legends of the ones to the romance, reverence, and ripple effect of the 14s he wore on the final shot he hit over B. Russ. Jordan, 20 footer ahead of the key, good! The sneaks Mike wore and the brand he built around them changed everything. From this came a connectivity to lifestyle that has become staples in our everyday. Jordan transcended basketball and entered the world of celebrity. Mars Blackman. Space Jam, the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, every element of hip hop, the terms, use, and existence of the whole concept of retros, the development of sneakerheads, both because of Jordans. You see all the business that has been generated around the way you play the game. I'm shocked by it. Last fiscal year, $3.14 billion in wholesale revenue. Even after over 30 years in the game as a brand, Jordan's signature line itself is outselling all other NBA player signature lines combined. I'm winning, yeah! The Lux Factor. Nobody in the game gave a damn about iguana skin or elephant print or patent leather on a hoop shoe. The advanced technology forever pushing the boundaries of performance and functionality and supreme flyness. The full circle aspect of professional athletes from all sports repping his shoes and brand to the fullest version of excellence. Just the fact that damn near all sneakers now have nicknames, annual releases, and release dates are a direct result of the foundation his shoe game established. In truth, the extension of Jordan's impact far outreaches the sh he did on the court. His effect, immeasurable, but still mythologized. His shoes, way beyond myth. And you all thought that goat thing was about the game. Y'all let me know how the sneaker culture would be if Jordan never signed with Nike and he went with the Adidas brand. Would the sneaker community and the sneaker culture be what it is today? No one knows. But this is why Jordan is considered the GOAT on and off the court. It had to be the shoes. With that being said, I'm your average sneaker guy, but y'all know the average don't stand for average. And I'll see y'all in the next video. If you're new, don't forget to hit that sub button and come join your average sneaker guy nation. Until then, turn on those notice. If you don't want to miss the next video, I'm out.